All right, hello, on steppers. We're gonna go through the uh, firmware flashing process. I got a request for this video, so I'm gonna tell you how I do it. Um, not sure if this is the perfect way to do it, but it works for me. So the first thing, obviously, is to install the Arduino, um, the IDE here. Uh, the version isn't terribly important as long as it's a more recent one. I'm using 1.85, 1.8.5. Um, and after you get this installed, then what you need to do is set up your board managers. And you first do that by going to uh, Tools. Just select the board column and then go to board manager. And that'll bring up this. It'll download new data, refresh everything. And then uh, you type in DUE. It's the easiest way to search for it. And install this Arduino SAM boards 32 bit AM, AR ARM Cortex M3 processor. I've got version 1.6.12. Um, works for me. Install that. And then what you're going to install now this is for the the Wemos mini the Wi-Fi module that comes with the kit um, you'll search ESP uh, 8266 and it'll bring up this uh, board manager now this is important um, I've only ever gotten version 2.4.2 to work so that's the one that has worked for me. I've tried other ones. You know, 262 was reported to work. It didn't work for me. Um, but this is the only one that's ever worked for me. So, um, you'll notice when, when you install these board managers, you can click more info and then you can select which version of it you want. Um, it, 242 is the only thing that's ever worked for me. So that'll be for your Wi-Fi board. Install that. And then uh, you'll go over to Sketch, Include Libraries, then Manage Libraries. And uh, the library that you're going to need to install is uh, the RTC by Makuna. So after it updates here, we will go... Search RTC by RTC by Makuna, and I've got two three two installed. That's always worked for me. I'm not sure. Two there's a two three three. I don't know, but I've got two three two installed. That works. So install that one. Um, now you're gonna need to dig up dig up a couple of files, and. Uh, the links for them will be in the description of the YouTube video. Um, hang on, I will get a window over here. Um, the first one you need is the Ar Arduino STM32. Uh, all the files it needs for the board. So you'll download that. It's not a small file. And then you'll unzip it. And then what you'll need to do is get rid of that master. You'll delete that. Then copy this and extract it to a... Uh, you'll extract it to program files. Arduino hardware and you put that Arduino STM right there alright and then the next batch of files you need are the uh, write fast files um, you will yeah, I'll, put, I'll put the links and the general instructions in the description of the video here you'll use this link and that will download this file now I'm pretty sure the only one you need out of here 
is uh, digital write fast. I always just copy all of them because it's easier with one click to extract it to the right location. But you just take that digital write fast and then you'll put that program files, Arduino, libraries, and make sure that's right there in your libraries. Um, and uh, that will be all the setup you'll need to do. Um, and then the next thing you'll do need to do is go and download the OnStep firmware. Go to go to Howard's GitHub right here. Um, now I am currently running the master but you've also got a couple of stable releases here 2.22 is the last stable release I think 3 is about to get a stable release but uh, Matt even even the master even though it's a little more experimental it's pretty stable it's you know if you're not scared to tinker with things you can usually get it working so you'll select which branch you want um, hit clone or download then I download a zip and then you'll get that downloaded now what I always do because I tend to flash a lot of different firmware I will rename every single one with the date so that I know which one is the most recent one you know which and I make notes like okay I was using the the one I downloaded then and uh, in Arduino it's kind of weird you, the main file for the program which is on step needs to have the same name as its containing folder so I rename that as well and now now this is ready to go put in your sketch folder go extract this on step folder into your sketch folder and then you can open it up here in the Arduino IDE um, now after you get uploaded or after you get the, f the, f the stuff downloaded and get this open in your IDE um, you've got to do all your setup so you go to config H your configuration header file and you gotta go, go through all this and you know tick all the boxes for your specific equipment now I've got I'll go through this with you step by step I've got the STM 32 and Howard made a bunch of notes in here so you've got some uh, guidance here so define pin map STM32 blue that's what I've got serial I don't mess with these that works for me LED status LED status 2 this is all fine um, I'll, I'll just leave my buzzer on sensors um, if you've got weather Oh, time, location, source. Okay, if, if you order the blue pill kit, you'll put in DS, this option right here. And, uh, that's, I guess, telling OnStep where to get the time from. If you've got weather, telescope sensors, home temperature sensors, home sense, now I do have these installed. I've installed some limit senses. Um, so we'll go on and depending on which kind of switches you got you'll set these uh, constants. Um, mine are normally closed switches so the current's normally low so when it pushes the button it breaks the circuit and that goes high so I detect high to see when my limit switch has been hidden my, see when well my limit switch has been triggered and my periodic error correction is the opposite that triggers low turn on my periodic error correction um, PPS sense that's the pulse per second turn that on um, and you know ST4 interfaces if you've built that this I've never really messed with that I like tracking to start automatically and I like refraction automatically turned on never messed around with the backlash rate 
don't know any of this. Um, I like to get a six degree per second slew rate memory. I like a little slower acceleration and deceleration. I put seven degrees in there because I normally, you know, I'm running 24 volts, like 1.8 amps. So, you know, I can slew like 10 degrees per second. It's like crazy fast. So I need a little more time to speed it up and slow it down there. Um, strict parking, never touched. Square waveform, never touched. Now, uh, I don't remember all my junk offhand here. Um, wait, yes, I do. I'm at 19,200 uh, per steps per degree. Is that That's different, isn't it? No, that's right. That's right. That's right. For worm rotation. Yeah. And I go So yeah, I am at 30 38,400 per worm rotation. Um now this is where you'll put in your your stepper driver models. You can see all the notes Howard's got up here for you that'll help you considerably. I've got the S109s. I do 32 micro steps for tracking, 4 for slewing. And then I don't need to mess with any of that. Don't touch that unless I have a specific case. And then 19,200 again for these. S109. Four. And then, uh, that, that's everything. That's everything you'll need to do in your configuration file. And, you know, if it's your first time, you're going to have to play with it. I had to play with it quite a bit um, to find all the settings that worked. And then uh, what you'll do, after you get all that set up, I normally flash my Wi-Fi first. Um, and I've got it set up for that, actually. You'll go to board, Lawlin, Wemos, D1, R2, R1, or D1, R2, and Mini. Um, you'll select that from the board manager. Um, I don't know what that means. I left it there. Disabled. None. V2 lower memory. Flash. Upload speed. All the same. Put all flash contents. Then port. You'll have to plug your Wemos in. Plug it in. Uh, take it out of the board and plug it in to your computer. Never never plug into the Wemos when it's on your it's hard to anyways because it's awkward but don't like reach in there and try to jam it in there pull the pull the, the Wi-Fi board out plug it into your computer and then the serial port that it's on will pop up here you select that serial port and then uh... what you'll oh wait a minute first first of all what am I even, what am I even doing you, you'll need you need to go to open and then in in the on step folder you'll get it you'll have an add-ons folder and the one you downloaded from Howard's GitHub add-ons uh, Wi-Fi and then open up the Wi-Fi INO file you open up that file and then you do all those settings Wemos 1M spiffs disabled none lower memory flash all flash contents then just go to sketch and then upload and if you've got your board plugged in and you've got it on the right serial port and the board isn't junk you'll see it compiling no I don't got, I don't have my junk plugged in so I can't do it for you now but um you'll get status messages down here and it'll it'll compile upload and then once it's uploaded then plug it back into your on step and then you'll go and flash your on step um so now for that you'll go go to your board selection 
And then generic STM 32F 103C. I really hate how that thing completely disappears every time you click on anything. 128K flash. Uh, 72 megahertz, I always leave that alone. Upload method, serial. Optimize smallest ports. Select the port that you've got um, your OnStep plugged into. And uh, before you do that, you got you'll have to, you know, set your set your flash jumper on your OnStep board. Plug it into your computer and then power up the board. And then you can, then it'll show your port. And then uh, just go to sketch, upload. It'll compile. Probably might throw an error the first time, but look, maybe you'll, you might luck out the first time. And then uh, you'll see it erasing, writing to memory, and then it'll start execution. Then you shut it down, set the jumper back to run and then power it on again and then it'll be able to communicate with your Wi-Fi board and you should be up and running after that um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments or uh, you know the the message boards are a great place just go in there and search first you know use the search function um, search for your question if you don't find anything post a message and Howard and Khalid and Dave and George are all awesome there they really help people out with uh, their problems but hopefully this gets you up and running and uh, you can go from there until next time